welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII. We had just seen a flashback back when we had thought that Bosch had killed the king. And it had showed something quite a bit different where Bosch was immediately taken prisoner, his men were killed, and a group and his twin brother went and took his place. Oh, Mimic. The Mimics can disguise themselves as the treasure chest, so you gotta watch out for that. But Bosch's twin brother had taken his place, killed the king, and then uh, stabbed Rex in the chest. And the reason why he did that was because Bosch's brother, who's a uh, judge of the Arcadian Empire, had gone and it was their intention all along, apparently, to kill the king. And you can't just have them kill the king, because people would blame them for it. So it's better to have them blame one of their own people. So that's why, okay, this will turn into a mimic. The color's different. Better to have them blame one of their own, rather than blaming the Empire for the death of the king. So they set this whole thing up so Bosch would take the fall for it. I'm not sure why they didn't bother executing him at the time, but they kept him alive in this prison, and, well, they're probably going to end up regretting that now, because he's in the process of escaping. Also, he had gone, and Bosch had gone at that stop we were just at, and went and looted a dead guy of his armor and weapons, and... Whoa. Okay, remember what I was saying earlier about how Bosch was kind of an underwhelming character on account of him not having any armor, not having any weapons, so he took too much damage and didn't deal enough damage to really be terribly useful to us. Well, that's definitely not the case now, in fact. Let's take a look at his stats real quick. Aside from jumping to level 9, I'm not sure when that happened. His attack power is now the highest in the group. His defense is high as well. Well, anyway, all around his stats are really high, except for Evade and Magic Evade, which nobody has any of that. But his base stats are also really high. Look how high his strength is. His vitality is low. So, now that he's got his weapon, now that he's got his armor, he is the badass that we've seen him as in the beginning of the game. Running around, kicking the shit out of things, just really being a badass. And just look at the damage that he's dealing here. More than any of our other characters here by fairly significant margins. Mimics! There's a lot of them in this place. You don't really have to worry about the items that you kill, that you, uh, that appear after you've killed enemies disappearing. If you don't feel like picking them up until you're about to leave, it's fine. They won't fade away. Unless you go and do something like leave the dungeon that you're in, or leave the room that you're in. If you do that, then they'll, then they will disappear. Damn it. Oh, there's a battery mimic. Now these things that were previously quite a pain in the ass for us to defeat because they had high defense are suddenly not so hard to beat because, well, we hit them things, don't do much damage, the other two shoot the things, don't do much damage, and the Bosch runs and crashes them really hard and they... Look at that damage. Crazy. Uh, should I kill that thing? There's another battery mimic around here somewhere drawing power. Hmm. Not sure where it is. But this is the direction I'm supposed to go. I don't really want to be going this way yet. Although I will kill the mimic. I'm gonna go the other way to make sure I get any treasure chests that I might have missed.
here. These things look strangely mechanical. I mean, now, now that they're uh, wandering around, I guess you could say they do have a certain organic quality. But uh, when you're looking at that, I mean, their legs in particular have this strange mechanical look to them. That's not really ever explained in storyline. Actually, you know what? There's this a uh, bestiary in this game where they explain things like that. Uh, let's take a look at this. Oh, all right. Yeah, pretty much all the enemies that we're going to find, well, I think maybe all of them, will actually have these... will have these, uh... Oh, there's more than one note. How do I access those? Well, anyway. Every enemy that we're going to find, separated by the region in which we found them, will have their own entry in the bestiary. And I think that's pretty cool even if it's not something that's going to be providing you with a whole lot of information, you can probably play through the entire game without ever actually accessing that stuff. But if you're interested in the lore of the game and you want to get an idea of things like where do these, what's the deal with these monsters and all that kind of stuff, it's, it's kind of cool to have. Now I'm not going to be fighting these things. I guess that's where all the lights are coming from. The electric light bulbs that they have in this place must be like fan frickin tastic quality. They seem to last forever. Who knows how long it's been since airships... ...since airships were invented. But it's probably been quite a while, so this place has probably been abandoned for a while. This is a mimic. Oh, I thought it would be a mimic. Oh, I was wrong. Probably quite a while since airships were invented. So it seems, uh... Kind of crazy that they, these light bulbs, which have probably haven't been maintenanced in who knows how long, really, are still working. I'm not going to touch the save crystal because that'll destroy the chain I've been working and build up with the mimics. Although I probably should have because there's a uh, boss battle coming up. Boss battle time! This is the Mama Mimic. Now I'm gonna go and go and kill all the baby mimics before I, or the tiny mimics before I go and try to kill the Mama Mimic. Because it'll keep spitting those things out, and they'll sit there and chew away at the batter at the charge until until uh, it all goes away, then of course the zombies or the skeletons will come out. I don't really want that to happen. But uh, keep in mind that as you fight it, it will spit out little mimics. But if you kill the big bulk of them that exist when you first start the battle, then it's going to be easier to take care of all the little extra ones. Kill it! Quick! Huh, you know what? It seems to be working out pretty well that Vaughn is running around attacking all the little mimics while the other characters are trying to take out the main boss. I guess since Bosch is attacking them and he's the... Oh wait, jeez, he's not really... He's just wandering and attacking whoever the hell he feels like. I don't know what its weakness is. I don't have the ability to tell that. Let's, let's hit it with a little bit of black magic, see if anything happens. Probably don't want to hit it with lightning, probably cure it. Ah, I did some decent damage. 
Maybe not worth it, but it did some damage. Begins casting Thunder. One of these larger bosses that you can run around beneath and all that stuff and seem to take the entire room up are particularly good for attacking from every sort of angle. Now, I don't think there's any damage boost to be gained by attacking an enemy from behind. I mean, maybe there is, but it may not be men. It may... No, I don't think there is. There definitely isn't. But as long as you are separating your characters by such a distance, then uh, area of effect damages are not going to be affecting you. So look at that. No damage. And you know what they say, the best armor is to stay out of range. So especially, I mean, if characters like Fran here, who should be staying really far away, are actually pretty close to the character, but the uh, staying far enough away from the front of it so it doesn't, uh, it can't easily attack you. That's the name of the game here. I guess you really don't want to have to worry about fighting a bunch of extra monsters like skeletons coming out in the middle of this boss battle, so... Oh, friends, level 8. Level 8 leveled up in the middle of a boss battle. I guess since all the enemies are considered to be individual things, and each encounter with a tiny mimic is an individual battle in and of itself. Ooh, okay. Oh, that was blocked. <laughs> every uh, every boss battle is, or every little battle is, like a individual battle in and of itself. You, you can gain experience points from. Ah, oh, shit! Bosh is down. You can, in fact, level up in the middle of a fight. I'm not going to bother resurrecting him, because the boss battle's over. 